Hey everybody, it's time for another Pick of the Week! <laughs> Woo! A uh, lot of things going on this week. We got free comic book day on Saturday. Everybody get excited. It's going to be popping off down here. We're going to have the free books in the back. Be somebody at the door to let you know where they are. Um, we got a lot, but you know, if you want something specific, uh, you got to come early. Our subscribers, so don't worry, we got you covered. Uh, a few new things in store. We're still missing the DC previews. Uh, there's a printing error, so they're they're on their way. But we got Marvel. It's got a bunch of Moon Knight in here. Everybody loves Moon Knight, but they got a new series coming up. Some preview artwork, uncolored. But yeah, definitely check this one out. There was something else in here that I meant to mention. Oh yes. New Blade comic coming up. Well, there's a movie, so there's a comic. But we're excited. We got the new previews as well, and there's a lot of good stuff in here, especially from Image. Like, we got Big Game coming up. They can't even show us the cover. It's a crossover of all the Millward Wor Miller World stuff, like Ambassadors, Nightclub, you name it. Fish Flies from Jeff Lemire. It's a free comic book day offering as well. The series looks really cool. There's one other thing I wanted to mention, if I can find it. Oh, there it is. This is called Swan Songs, and it's a new series from uh, the creator of Ice Cream Man. And each issue is going to have a different artist, and it's about, like, the ending of things. So, like, the first one looks like the end of a marriage, and then who knows what the other ones are going to be about. One of them looks like it has knights in it. I don't know. And this is something I'm really excited for, Parasocial. This graphic novel sounds amazing. This creative team has done some great stuff with Dracula, motherfucker. And I'm really excited for this one. And apparently, my Twitter ad is in it somewhere. So we'll see if that, that holds true. So yeah, definitely check out Previews. Previews has all the good stuff in it. So much artwork. Definitely check it out. One more thing I want to talk about. I rewatched the Guardians movies. I'm really excited for number three. But we got my favorite Guardians run of the last few years by Alan Ewing. All in one big, thick paperback this run is incredible cut way too short it's got incredible artwork from juan cabal some of the panel layouts are in here are just absolutely stunning i'll never be able to find them off the bat but man his artwork is just amazing the facial expressions the designs for all the guardians it's so good the new team members this run was incredible i know this is thick but it should have been longer so yeah let's get to the picks you want to go first absolutely my pick of the week is The Abolition of Work by Bob Black and illustrated by Bruno Bourget. Um, it's um, pretty self-descriptive, an essay that was written in like the 80s um, and has since been turned into a comic book. And yeah, I guess it's kind of thinking through what um, what work means in our daily lives, how it can be controlling and hierarchical, and, and the power dynamics involves, and, Good work. <laughs> and kind of like, um, arguing that, you know, we should be enjoying our lives more, have more leisure, have more play. Um, it's really interesting kind of concept i think it's important you know uh to kind of think outside our bubbles and i think people would be like kind of surprised at the idea of like not working what does it mean to get rid of work it's such a big part of our our day-to-day -day lives our society um but i you know i think bob black puts forward a really compelling argument and you know i don't think it's going to win any um awards for graphic original design illustration but um I think the comic kind of adds to the whole concept of like play and so to, I guess to make it more fun to read, uh, you know, an essay um, that is built on, yeah, a lot of theory and history yeah, um, and stats um, to throw some some fun comics in there and uh, and do it in this really kind of messy lettering. Um, yeah, I think it definitely kind of adds to the dynamic of it. Um, so yeah, check out Abolition of Work. Sounds very interesting. I got one here. Uh, it's a new James Tinian joint. It's called World Tree. And uh, it's a spectacular debut issue, of course, from James Tinian. But the thing I really want to shout out is that uh, Fernando Blanco is doing the artwork in this book. And he did a Batwoman run a few years ago. And he did Catwoman for a few years. Just one of my favorite artists. And I've always felt like he never like had his like big moment. And I'm so happy for him to be having this big moment with this book. His artwork is awesome. 
So, so beautiful. There's a lot of stuff in here that's uh, very adult that I cannot, sh I'm going to try not to show. This is a, definitely a mature reader's book. It's kind of about like, um, like a evil internet. <laughs> it's the best way I can describe it. And uh, these people once like defeated it and now it's starting to make a comeback because of this lady here, Fear. And uh, this book is so cool. It's such a great, like, opening. It's so spooky. It's so weird. It does raise a lot of questions, you know, more than it answers. But, man, his artwork is shines here. Some amazing action. I'm just trying to find a couple of pages here that doesn't have too gruesome of stuff. Let's go this way. <laughs> Look at this stuff. It is wild. Try not to give any spoilers either because there's some wild stuff that goes on in this debut issue. But you should definitely check this out. I think this is going to be the hot new series of the year because it's James Tinian and he just does that. But yeah, World Tree. It is excellent. Definitely pick it up. And it's a bit of a hot issue, so I would say come as quick as you can. <laughs> Limited quantities available. Yeah. Did I, did I miss anything? Oh, the giveaway. The giveaway, <laughs> best part. Absolutely. What do we got? We got... Uh... Farm hand number one, Frank Pizzetta's Dawn Attack, and Pineapple World Breaker. A little mix up. Let's try some reviews. Who could it be? We got 135. Marcus Manuel. Congratulations, Congratulations. Marcus. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, that's it. Take care. Peace. You got it.